Welcome to the series of design pattern. In this tutorial, we will see what a factory design pattern is. So you went to a car factory and asked that the car should be a type SUV and in the return you get an object of SUV car. Similarly, what if if you asked for an hatchback car and get a hatchback car in a return. So simply by asking just a car object like a sedan or hatchback or SUV, you will get the object of that type. This type of pattern is generally called as factory design pattern, similar to the example of car factory, where you just pass the factory type and get the object of that car. So here we'll design a factory design pattern in this main class. So first let's create an object of different cars. So first is an interface of car. So all cars will have similar kind of methods. So let's print details will be the method and its implementation will create in different car segments. So different car segments will have different properties. So according to that, we'll create different cars. First is a sedan and with that will implement this car interface. And in this print details, just to demonstrate, I will just print out that, hey, this is a sedan car. So this is a sedan car, what the statement gives. Similar to that, just by the pictorial representation, we have seen a SUV sedan hatchback. So I'll create hatchback also and a SUV also. So here I'm going to print. This is a hatchback car and one more car is there that is SUV. So I'll create an SUV also and implement the car interface. So this is an SUV and similar to that, this method will also give that, Hey, this is an SUV car. That's it. So we have created three objects of that particular interface of that car. Now in the main design pattern, I will require to create a factory pattern, which will give me the different type of cars. So let's create a car factory. This is the method or you can say this is the class file, which will contain the method of factory design pattern. So I will write here, get car by type and for providing the type, I'm not going to use a string. Let's go and create the standard th way of creating. So we'll use the enum values. So I have moved this into the design package and now I'm going to create an enum. On the basis of enum type, we will get different type of objects. So first in this enums, I'm going to create car types and this car types will have SUV, hatchback and sedan. So these three types I'm going to provide in this method of that car by type the method which is contained inside the car factory. So I provide this car type here and now I'm going to use the switch statement. So in this I provide the car type and if the case is SUV just return the new SUV car. If the case is I would say sedan then return this new sedan car. If it is a case of hatchback then return a hatchback object otherwise just return null. So let's default be null. So here it will be new. So on the basis of car type, I'm going to return the different car segments in the factory. So this is a factory and this is the method. So you can understand the pictorial way, the same pictorial. Way. So I'm going to enter the factory. So for that, I have created this new factory object inside this factory. I'm going to ask that, Hey, please provide me SUV car. So, Hey, car factory, give car by type. And I'm providing you a type of SUV and this will return me an car object. So this will be a car SUV, just name it as car SUV. And I will understand by its property. So I will write car SUV dot print details and their property will be shown here. This is a SUV car. Similarly, I'm going to get a different segment of car just by providing the car segment types. So I'll ask that hey, provide me hatchback car. So here I'm going to get a car, which will be a type of hatchback. And again, this will be coming from the factory only. So car factory dot get car by type and I'll provide hatchback as a type. And this will provide me a hatchback car. And I'll get to know this through the properties of that particular object. So I'll print this and see this is a hatchback car. Similarly, other segments are also there. So I'll go for the sedan also. So this will be a sedan car and sedan will be printed here. 
So I'm not directly calling a new method. Instead, I'm calling the factory, which is on the basis of type, it is giving me a different segment of objects. So in this way, we can create different objects just by calling the factory and providing the type similar to the picture we have shown in the start. Thank you all for watching the video.